So in this video, you're going to hear the perspective of people who live in the Philippines. Is the Philippines a good place to live? What's the cost of living like? What are the pros and cons of living in the Philippines? So I hope you enjoy the video. Like and comment if you've lived in the Philippines, maybe give your perspective as well. And also, if you are an expat or thinking about becoming an expat, go over to adamfad.com, see how we can help you when it comes to things like investments, insurances, and much else for expats and high net worth individuals. What's your name? Leo. Um, where are you from? I'm from uh, France and I actually live in Paris. Okay. Um, how do you find the cost of living here in the Philippines mm, compared to France? It's cheaper, but I'm sure the cost of life here is uh, cheaper as well, so it's just a question of proportion, I would say. What's your name? Ian. Mm -hmm. And where are you from? Uh, the U.S. Denver, Colorado. What about the cost of living here versus the U.S.? Oh, it's night and day. And that was one of the biggest attractions um, to it. So I actually work remotely for a U.S. company. Um, and the fact that I can make a wage from the U.S. and have that money translated over here, I would say it's a four to one difference. Um, so for instance, the two bedroom, two bathroom condo that we have here, it would be at least four times as expensive in the U.S. Uh, what's your name? Naoi Kebe. Mm -hmm. Where are you from? From Japan. What about the cost of living? How do you find it compared to Japan? Mostly, I, I find mostly the same, but sometimes I, the, the, <laughs> I, I think more cheaper. I, I had thought I had thought Philippines cost is not so expensive, but actually mm -hmm. a little bit expensive. Mm -hmm. So surprise. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, what's your name? Uh, my name is Rinku. I am from Nepal. Mm -hmm. Um, how do you find the cost of living here in the Philippines compared to Nepal? Uh, okay, like in, compared to Nepal, it's mm -hmm. really tougher. It's really expensive. I mean, I feel like uh, for food, it's triple time mm -hmm. expensive than Nepal. For clothes also, yeah. It's more expensive. Yeah, it's more expensive than Nepal. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can say it's double. Um, hi, what are your names? My name is Oyabu. Marie. Mm -hmm. How are you from Japan? How do you find the cost of living here in the Philippines compared to Japan? Uh, it depends. It depends how I live, but um, it's a little cheaper, mm -hmm. I guess. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, how do you find the expat community here in the Philippines? Um, I've only met a few expats here, um, mm -hmm. but the uh, general feeling um, from the Filipinos mm -hmm. to expats is very warm and welcoming. That was mm -hmm. one of the things that attracted me to come here, the culture in general. Um, I myself found the U.S. to be not as family oriented, um, a little bit more selfish um, than the communities here. Um, eating meals by yourself, not having shared meals, a race, a rat race, you know, to make the most amount of money, to have the biggest house, biggest TV, all of this. Um, so uh, that was one thing that attracted me when I first met my now wife um, that I've known for two years. And we had our daughter born here in the Philippines eight and a half months ago. So it's been an amazing experience. Um, we're actually looking to buy a condo here um, in the next six months to a year. So. Do you find a lot of foreigners here as well who are your friends now? Uh, not really. Not many Japanese here. Ah, okay, no. I see. You know, almost Filipino friends. All oh. Filipino friends. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, some Japanese colleagues mm -hmm. in my company. I see. Uh, nice. Nice. I would say we're not a lot. So mm -hmm. most of uh, our friends are French. And um, yeah, but you meet them uh, because you go to the school. So you see the children, the parents, and uh, just uh, build a sort of network with the uh, foreign communities. But even with the uh, Filipino people. What are the pros and cons of living here in the Philippines? The advantage mm -hmm. <laughs> the weather, the climate, mm -hmm. and uh, the service. Maybe. Population is very increased mm -hmm. so here in mm -hmm. Philippines, but in Japan, the decrease. So, mm -hmm. yeah. so the energy is a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, like the vibe here is like yeah, vibe. Right? Yeah, the vibe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have so many healthy problems. So for example, the hay fever. I have so many mm -hmm. hay fever in Japan. 
here. No, last, yeah. last at all. Okay. No, and uh, how do I say? The, I have three dogs in mm -hmm. here. I bring I bring them from Japan. For them, it's good for in Philippines, living in Philippines. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, I would say my favorite is that I've been to areas in the province where before I even know somebody's name, they're welcoming me to sit at the table and share, share a drink, try their food, come inside, ask me about where I'm from, um, you know, the smiles on their faces. In the U.S., we don't have that. Um, in the U.S., you need to, it's all about who you know and you have to be, um, you have to familiarize yourself or, or be connected from one person to another and then you're trusted here. Um, they trust first until you break that trust. Um, my second favorite thing would be um, just the the culture of, you know, the meals, the food, all of that. Everybody eats together. Everybody shares the laughter together over the kitchen table, um, and the food is great <laughs> for one. So, what about your the disadvantages and your least favorite? Um, least favorite, I would say probably just the immigration process. We in any country want to do those for the right reasons. Too. So I respect that. I just wish for myself being married to a Filipino and having a Filipino born daughter um, that it would go a little bit faster. So I didn't have to do the renewal of visas and leave the country yeah. and that stuff. But. So um, as I'm a student of AIM, I feel like I'm growing a lot in sense of like uh, what I call professionally. Like when I came here, I feel like people are really smart. So I'm learning these things. Like when I go back to Nepal, I can apply these things in my uh, daily activities and of course in my professional life too. This advantage for me, I'm vegetarian. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Everywhere here is meat. And if I will look for vegan fru foods, it's really, really expensive, which uh, it's hard for us to afford yeah so um, I, the most things I'm struggling here about the foods it depends how we live so we can choose how we live uh, if we want to save our money we go to market mm -hmm. like local people mm -hmm. and we can find like cheaper ingredients mm -hmm. like groceries but if I like go to like supermarket and everything is like a little bit more expensive than Japanese mm -hmm. Japanese ingredients mm -hmm. so the good point is we can we can choose mm -hmm. how we live, and if we choose live cheaper, we can do that. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's the yeah what I like. Mm -hmm. Pros and cons, I would say. So far, like, um, yeah. what's your what's your favorite part, and what's like the least favorite? Uh, so what I like here is the people. Mm -hmm. Like you guys are super kind compared to friends, but friends are nice as well. But like you. I don't know, it's just uh, Asia, Asian mood, Philippines mood, so yeah. And what you really miss here, I would say, is the public transport, like efficient public transport. Because, for instance, uh, if you want to move, uh, I'm, I'm a foreigner, so I don't know how does it work, uh, the jeepney or whatever, or tramway, it would be super nice uh, and easier for everyone to move from district to district. Okay. That's it. What about your financial transactions? Do you find it easy to handle like banking, payments? Uh, actually, uh, if I compare to Japanese style, uh, sometimes it's a little bit hard. The service is uh, amazing, uh, but to pay it's... Uh, no, I think that's okay. Just uh, you need a lot of cash, so I never have cash on me. Uh, yeah. So here in the Philippines, I need to have some cash uh, in my pocket. Yeah. Not so hard, but... Uh, I, I want to know the kind, how do I say? Just just getting salary and just using, and mm -hmm. I don't have any solution for the economy, for the mm -hmm. keeping money. This is difficult. Oh, you mean like a bank where you can keep yeah, bank, money? Yeah. I see. The, so it's like I, I hard. Don't, mm, I don't know very well the system, banking system for expat. I don't know the, how. How it works. Yeah. yeah, okay. So I've had some difficulties with opening up um, a bank myself with a local bank. Um, so I've had to keep my U.S. bank open um, and then basically Western Union out of that bank to myself or my wife to get access to Filipino pesos here. But being in the digital age, it's, it's pretty easy. It's easy to work around. Um, thankfully, I do have my ACR card and there are some branches that have told me that they will accept 
um, that as enough, you know, sufficient to open up an account. I just have yet to um, open up a bank account or get a bank loan or any of that. Um, so it's kind of depends on which branch you're going to, depends on um, which company and what manager you're talking to. So some difficulties there are a little bit more than in the U.S., but it's to be expected on a foreigner. And, you know, they want to make sure that there's no money laundering or nothing, you know, shady going on. So. Yeah.